guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna make some keto chicken tenders in the air fryer. However, just as a side, you can make these in the oven. If you don't have an air fryer or if you choose not to air fry, put them in the oven. It's fine, We're gonna, it's a messy job. So I'm gonna get my apron on, hi Deb. It's cold here today. So I ran to the store to get chicken tenders. Hi, buddy. And they only had the family size packs. So what I'm gonna do is a lot of them, I'm gonna put them on this silicone lined cooking tray and put them in the freezer, the ones I'm not gonna eat today. And then I'll have them. Once they're frozen solid, I'll bag them up and then I can take them out a couple at a time and cook them in the air fryer. So that's kind of my plan of attack. Hi, buddy. So this is pork rinds. I put it through my food processor and you get just like breadcrumbs. And if you're not keto, use breadcrumbs. It doesn't matter to me. If you don't like pork rinds, you don't eat pork. I know people have used this zero carb protein powder. This is unflavored. There's no carbohydrates in here. And you can also bread in that. But I do, hi buddy, I do have, I do eat pork rinds. So the, what I did is I seasoned with some of this buttery steakhouse and I just liberally, and you can just do it to your taste. And then the other thing you'll need for this is just some good old canned, par I hear you baby, some canned Parmesan cheese. Mine got a little clumpy in the fridge. And again, I'm not going to say it's a 50-50 mix. I would say a couple cups for this amount. I ground up for this many pork rinds, I ground up three whole bags of pork rinds to, um, to bread all of these chicken tenders. So just as a heads up. And now I'm going to stir it. The pork rinds do have some oil to them. Hi, baby, what do you need? I'll feed you in a minute. It's their dinner time too, apparently. So I'm just gonna blend this really well together. And there's a lot here. It may be too much, but I had to kind of guess. I didn't wanna have to get the food processor out more than once. Now, they also on Amazon sell these pork, this pork rind dust, it's what it's called. So keep that in mind. But now you see why I mean it's messy. Second step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip up these eggs. I have six eggs, I'm hoping that's enough. If not, grabbing a couple more eggs out of the fridge is not a hardship. Getting the food processor back out, yeah, not my idea of fun. And I'm just doing eggs. I'm not adding cream to this or milk or anything. If you don't like eggs, I think I've seen some people also use mayonnaise to coat, to coat their chicken. You just need something on them liquidy to, um, you know, get the pork rinds to stick. <laughs> My air fryer's kind of in the way, but let's move you back a little bit. And I will show you how I do it and then I'll do it up. But it's literally take a chicken tender, you put it in, right? You wanna get it moist. And the first mistake I already made. One hand for the wet, one hand for the dry. Left hand for me because I'm right-handed, so we have that into the chicken, into the egg batter, right? And I'm just, oh, you can't see. Pulling that out of the egg batter and I'm just gonna dredge it. I like mine a little thicker, so I just dredge it and let it sit there. This is my dry hand, this is my wet hand. Do it how you want, use a fork, put it in a bag like a shake and bake however you would like. You can double dredge. I find personally the double dredge, 
meaning, see, I'm, I'm a mess, guys. The double dredge, meaning going back into the egg with this and then back into the breading, just makes it, the breading fall off. But that's what it's going to look like. And they look like breaded chicken. I hope it's in here already. So we're going to speed this process up. I'm just putting my chicken in here. And I'm going to get this done quickly. And then I have to preheat the fryer, the air fryer, and I want to put the rest in the freezer. So let's do some magic.
Okay, I double dipped them. I figured the air fryer will help. I'm washing my hands here. So I can clean up. And then what we're gonna do is put, hold on. So I would say, if you're gonna do this size package, two bags of pork rinds and three eggs if you're gonna single dip. If you're gonna double dip, then the three bags of pork rinds with the six eggs was perfect amount. I'm just wiping this down so I can show you. Let me get this cleaned up. And that's what these chicken tenders look like. How fast and easy was that, right? Now, if you want, you can put those right in the oven. I would separate them and maybe put them on a cooking sheet. But what I'm gonna do, now that I've got this cleaned up, so I'm gonna take out four. I think four will fit in my air fryer. And then I'm gonna freeze the rest and bag them up. So now I have some to eat. I wanna make sure there's plenty of room between them. Now I'll have some to eat. Oops. See, this is what happens. I get all, there we go. So these are gonna go in the freezer and they're gonna freeze solid. And then they'll go in a bag, a zip bag. And then when I want one or two, I'll take them out and stick them in the air fryer. So I've just cooked ahead plenty of food for me to have for a while. But let me get these in the freezer. Alrighty. So I've got my air fryer warmed up. Right? So it's all preheated. I don't like to sit it on my counter hot. Mine does recommend preheating, so that's what we're going to do. I also don't want it touching each other. And because you have to get crisp, right? So I've got it in here. Not touching each other, not touching the sides. And I'm just squirting it with a little olive oil. I'm sorry, avocado oil. Has a higher smoke point. I'm sticking it in. What I would like to do, oh shoot. Okay, I set the turn reminder. My brand is a Gourmia. I believe it's from Target. I have it set for 20 minutes. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take. So 20 minutes is where we're starting. I'll check it. But in 10 minutes, it's gonna tell me to flip it. And then what'll happen is I'll flip it and I'll spray the other side again and hope this chicken gets cooked. But that's it. That's all we got going on here. I will sit my towel over here to put the tray on and I'll bring you along when I flip it over and then we'll get to see how crunchy this is going to be okay I don't know if I told you but I have this on 400 and it's telling me to turn my food so I washed my fork and plate because duh chicken and this side is pretty crunchy oh I'm excited guys here, let's get a tong. Oh yeah, this is crispy. I am so excited. This is my first time making it in the air fryer. I just got this for Christmas. So, I just flipped everybody over and there's about 10 minutes left. Oh, wait, forgot to spray it. Here we go. Sprayed it. Okay, now we have 10 minutes left. When it's done, I'll take it out, let it cool, and then we're gonna test it. 
All right. We are at about four minutes. Well, not quite at 20 minutes, but I think it's done. So I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna put it on a plate. One of them, we're gonna test for doneness. Like I said, this is the first time I have made these. Hi, baby. Put this in the sink and it'll wash right out, which is great. So I'm just gonna put a little warm soapy water in here. Out, but I wanted to show you something. You hear that? That is nice and crunchy. We're just going to cut into one of the this one because it's the thickest. Oh, yep, that's done. It is cooked, but it's very hot, so we're going to wait. Just a couple minutes. Let it cool off. And then we're gonna test it together. Okay. All right. They have cooled off. I took a little nibble. So good. I will say for this size, for four chicken tenders, not frozen, 15 minutes, seven and a half on each side is ideal. But listen to this crunch. Mm. Guys, this is so good. If you're trying to do low carb, you've got to try this. You know what I want to try next? Fried green tomatoes. I can't wait for summer. I'm drinking my water. These are delicious. This is a lot for me. I'll have these today, probably for lunch tomorrow and maybe dinner tomorrow night. I don't know, but it's good. And I hope you enjoyed and you try these on your own. Let's see what this sounds like. They're so crunchy, no more soggy. This air fryer is the thing. If you don't have an air fryer, try them in your oven, 400 degrees. Do the same thing, put them in that oven and get them hot, get it hot in there. Oh my gosh, so good. Well, I hope you enjoy and you're having a fantastic Monday. I am gonna go turn on the fireplace and get warm because I'm freezing. So you have a good one. I'll talk with you later, bye.